Now imagine you're working on arranging your brilliant track idea in your favorite DAW. You sequence everything according to the best practices, the intro, the drop, the different verses, all is going very well as you build up the track. In the middle of it, you pause to listen to the full thing, just to realize that it is so f boring. In fact, it is so dull and not interesting until there is only one thing left to do, to abandon the track and start all over again with a new idea. So this used to happen to me quite often. Every time I was trying to work inside of the doll, like completely inside of the doll, I would start with some loop, you know, maybe eight bars of some drums or bass line or some synth progression. And then what would happen if I was happy with that loop, I would try to expand it and try to make a full track of it. So I would use my computer keyboard and mouse and try to lay out the track. And what I really couldn't understand is why the tracks that I'm making on the computer were completely lifeless. They were without energy, they weren't fun to listen to. I couldn't feel anything to the arrangement I just made. And I didn't get it because when I was working on the loop, I did feel the energy, but somehow during the process, throughout the process, that energy kind of completely gone. And what I really couldn't understand is how come when I work on a simpler gear, like a piece of gear like the Electribe or some other synth hardware or whatever groove box, I'm getting much better results. So they were not like polished sound results, the track wouldn't sound like it would produce on the DAW, but the energy of it was much better. I could really feel it. And this is really what I wanted to talk about and share with you today. Because I think that if there is one important thing that I've realized throughout the years of making music is that simple difference between working inside of computer and working dollars. And I think the difference goes beyond the tactile experience. I think that there is something more into that. I think what really happens when you're working on a simple gear, let's say on the Electribe, you have some sort of limitation, you have some sort of constraint. And because of those constraints, you have less time to think. On the computer, on the other hand, you don't really need to, you know, practice or perform. You can just easily just drag things around and really perfectly arrange your track. So for example, while on the computer, I can spend much more time to think about which part should come after which part in the arrangement. On the Electribe, I'm just being forced to be in the moment and feel the arrangement. I let my body, I let my hands, I let my feeling in that moment to dictate the arrangement of the track. And I think that this feeling, this expressiveness usually get lost when we are working with a keyboard and a mouse and we're just laying out stuff on the computer. You know, we take our time to perfect things, to think more about the track, to try to sound like that, like that. But when we are performing with an instrument, there is a level of expressiveness that is uncompared to anything else. And listen, I'm really not trying to go into the argument that you should go dollless compared to working inside of the doll. This is really not the point of what I'm trying to say because I honestly, I don't even think about that. I think that uh, whatever works for you should be the best because that's what matter eventually, if you can get result with what you're doing. For me, what works best usually is the hybrid solution. So what I do want to talk about and share today is how we can borrow some of these concepts, some of these ideas from working dollless and apply those into working on the computer. In other words, just ignore and forget about the power we have when we are working inside a computer and treat it as we were working on a much simpler piece of gear. So for example, when working on the Electribe, I'm taking advantage of the mute feature. So I'm bringing in and out different parts of the track and I'm arranging that through the mute. And the same thing can be achieved when working, for example, on Ableton, it's very simple with the session view, but even if you don't have Ableton, if you're using other DAW like Reason, Logic, Cubis, whatever, what you could do is map the mute buttons from that DAW into maybe like a keyboard keys. And then, you know, instead of taking your mouse and keyboard and trying to put the parts and saying, this is the intro, this is the verse, whatever, you just record the initial fundamental laying blocks of the track from start to finish you just express yourself this is the first guts feeling you're taking whatever you're feeling at that moment and you're putting that into the track you can come later on and perfect it as much as you want but i think you will get much better result if you just focus on the basic arrangement but even for automation instead of using your mouse you can really get like a cheap midi controller and then record your movement on a knob instead of moving a mouse and i think this will have big impact on the music that you produce it will sound less robotic it will sound more human because i think this is what music is all about is expressing our feeling and sharing those feelings between human right it's a form of communication where we exchange energy with each other and it's very hard to exchange these energies by being so surgical of course this is subjective and for some people working like that manually with a keyboard and a mouse worked best. For example, if you look 
look at artists like Mr. Bill and I've watched a lot of his video, he's really a master on the keyboard and the mouse. So it's really depend on you and what works best for you. But if you like me and you feel like that working like that on the computer doesn't give you the result that you're looking for, I recommend thinking about how can you apply some of the concept and constraint as I mentioned from a dollar's setup and try to put it when you're working inside of the computer. Another constraint that you can apply from working dollars when you're working on the computer is, is starting minimal, right? Don't put all your VSTs, you know, pick up everything and just draw it and, and, and work now with, I don't know, like 50, 100 tracks. Think that you are working on the hardware now, how many tracks you might have? Probably max eight, right? How can you make a track just with eight tracks? And maybe just pick one or two synths because if you were working in real life, you probably wouldn't have, I don't know, like 20, 30 VSTs now laying down in your in your studio. You probably would have like two main scenes, maybe three, four. So take this concept, think about how can you take that and start the track from there and force the limitation. The limitation are not there. The computer is very powerful, but we can pretend like there are some limitation. And I think that throughout this limitation, creativity will flourish because I think that creativity comes from limitation. Creativity comes from having those constraints. You can worry about later how you can perfect things out. You can worry about, you know, how can you change things, add some ear candies here and there. But what I think works best, at least works for me, is having this fundamental, the initial idea, as expressive as I could possibly get. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to share with you today. I think this idea is may not sound like it's a big one, it's a very simple one, but I think in that simplicity, it has the power to unlock some creativity. And I think that if you suffer, if you feel like when you're working on your computer, you don't get the same result and you don't understand why, I suggest you take some of the concept from the dollars and apply those to your workflow on the DAW and see the result. And let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Do you have other ways to unlock your creativity? And as always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe. I try to upload regularly, weekly, my jam sessions, some tutorials, sharing my thoughts like today. And I really hope to see you next time.